That's right. Okay. Um, interesting, you know, I mean, actually, good key up for what I want to talk about. But the question gets to be, okay, how long are we thinking about? Um, you know, if, if you're on your day-to-day -day business, and Michael and I were talking last night, you know, I mean, long-range thinking might be like next week and trying to get some of the, some of the things moving that don't seem to be moving. Um, you know, Ken's, Ken's example, you know, how long have we been to get to that point where we have an example like that where we can actually start thinking about some of those things. But then Jack's, I, you know, I th thought also that, um, oops, I guess I didn't get on there, fell off. Um, Jack's thinking also is that, you know, maybe we're not even right asking the right questions. So um, what I wanted to do is look at a lot of different things today, but I'm gonna, you know, compress them down. I, I think we need to understand that big picture, much bigger than we have been thinking about. And, and typically on every, you know, every project, we, we don't get much beyond, and then everybody sub-optimizes that into individual silos and things like that. Um, information is the other big key that we have, and big information, things like that. How do we really take advantage of that? Um, how, do we, how do we function as a true team? And I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, we don't have baseline and metrics. Um, I, I've got a chart showing, and I didn't show it here because it's too small. There's like 200 different organizations in the United States working on things related to design, construction, operations, things like that. You know, AIA, IFMA, and, you know, FIATEC, all these other groups, COFES. Um, and, and the thing is that they're all working in their own silos, doing good things, but there's nothing to focus the energy and move it forward. Um, and so the, one of the other things that I, so I'm, this is on my second retirement now. Um, I, I really suck at retirement, obviously, um, <laughs> because one of the other things we're working on is we don't have a TCO, a total cost of ownership standard out there. Again, everybody's kind of doing their own thing and hoping for the best. And so we've got to have some focus on, on that too. And so a lot of other things, that product information, you know, we aren't doing really well at selecting products. We've got some tools now, but I have only really come across one tool that's really kind of headed in the right direction, and I'll talk about that. Okay, so here's something I came across not too long ago, just to kind of put it in the COFES context, if you will. The company makes cell phone parts. They used to employ 650. Um, they've gotten down to 60, they're gonna go down to 20. They used to make 8,000 parts, now they can make 21,000 parts a day. They used to, that's 162% increase in productivity. Their defect rate was 25%, now it's 5%, okay? That's productivity improvement. That's profound for productivity improvement. Um, and, and what are we doing along those same lines? You know, you, everybody's seen that chart, Paul Teichel's chart, <clears throat> where productivity in every place else is going up and our productivity is flatlining or maybe uh, going down. Um, and, and it hasn't changed because we haven't changed. We're still doing business the exact same way we have. We've changed a couple minor workflows and processes a little bit, but in general, we haven't really changed. So this is a chart that came across last year um, in the fall that said, this is how far we've come with lead, green globes, um, uh, Energy Star, all those efforts. Of the five million commercial facilities in the United States, we have already affected 0.6%. Yay! <laughs> Success! Let's move on to something else. Seriously? I mean, if we're following politics, we're certainly not even in the area of uh, <laughs> percentage of impact, you know? I, I, this is crazy. This is crazy. And I thought we were doing, I was, I was floored. I thought we were doing pretty good with energy. We suck. Anyway, so, huh? Oh yeah, absolutely. They're, they're sucking up energy. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, and that's the issue. You know, we're, we're affecting some new facilities, but we aren't really affecting the mass of stuff that's out there. So we've got to change the way we're, we're thinking. So here's a little thing here. Um, I, I picked this up talking to Mark Bue, okay? Um, while he was talking, I was drawing. And here's design cost. And I think we've everybody's seen, okay, construction cost is more, operational cost is more, 
But the real impact is what is the societal impact on what we're doing. You know, they're talking about getting rid of Victorian age prisons and moving to modern prisons. Because if they can save money doing that, they can build more schools. And if they build more schools, then they might not have need as many prisons. I thought, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And I was talking to a friend. And he said, oh yeah, we do that in the United States too. It, we take the PAL test, which is given, I think, after second or third grade. And depending on how, they do, how the kids do on the PAL test, that gives them enough lead time to figure out how many, what kind of budget they need and how many prison cells they need. <laughs> you know, that's making my hair stand up <laughs> right now. <laughs> so the thing is that we can have an effect. This little dot that just showed up inside a design can have a huge impact on society. Yet we're, we're spending a lot of time micromanaging what's happening down in design and construction, and we're not worrying about what's happening up there, okay? We gotta turn the whole thing around. Look through the other end of the telescope, <laughs> okay? Um, and the thing is, you know, ship, shifting from OPEX to CAPEX. Okay, um, this is a, another project that I worked on, and again, thinking holistically. Um, this is the business enterprise architecture for the Department of Defense, okay? Each one of these little boxes is a set of data, okay? This is like one-tenth of the, of the overall diagram, okay? What they did is they said, okay, let's look at how all the information flows across the department. And how do we make it, how do we make that work? And in fact, they're doing it. What's happened is they went out and, and we, we, did a one of the, we did a lot of tests of this, of this system. There were five threads. I was in charge of environmental uh, or uh, installations and environment. There was finance, procurement, acquisition, and personnel. So we did a test. How do we up armor Humvees in Afghanistan? First of all, we had to know where all the Humvees were. Then we, know had, we had to know where the facilities were that were going to be able to do the repair. Who had been trained, okay, personnel, to be able to do the work. How do we procure the kits and get them to the right spot? And, and how, do, how do we make that whole process work? We've got to think at that level. You know, it's not just thinking, of, and you're starting now. You're saying, okay, now let's connect energy and, and daylighting and things like that. We've got to connect all the pieces together. This cost the Department of Defense $1 billion to put together. We had 350 modelers, data modelers, that were working on it, okay? Where's the billion dollars for the construction industry? We are thinking too small. I, you know, I left the National Institute of Building Sciences and Building Smart Alliance. We're, we're trying to do all this on a wing and a prayer. We don't, ha we don't have the resources, we don't have the investment to fix the problems right now. We're doing our best. Each of us are doing our best. It's not, not enough. Okay, so here's another diagram that everybody's seen also. But I think it's really a significant piece. We're... This is, this is how we need to, ch you know, we're currently down here on paper, and we're doing work with paper. But the thing is, what we need to be thinking about is information. Because the cool thing about information and accumulating information and making information all work together is that we can continually add to that information. We can still produce two-dimensional drawings if you want to, okay? It's not affecting our information flow, our information thread. Our information is continuing to accumulate. But our focus, is that, and it's a simple mindset change, focus on the information. We're in the information age. Focus on the information, not on the, on the paper, which is right now what happens. It gets reduced to paper and gets going through the codes, you know, codes and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's the return on investment there. Here's the other thing about team. And this is a guy, a friend of mine, Josh Davis. Let me wear his gold medals. Really cool. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, a swimmer, a um, track uh, star, a um, you know a wrestler, any anybody like that, that's individual focused of, of, of their uh, of their um, efforts. You know, they're they're focusing on their performance. But what we have to work at is being how do you focus as a team? My son coaches for um, SUNY Buffalo, and that's their co head coach, um, Blair Brown. But that is a team. If one person doesn't do their job, if they don't receive the, the ball, if they don't set, if they don't 
get it to the hitter, the whole team fails. We've got to, fail, we've got to succeed or fail as a whole team and not just each person in their own silo. Okay, the other thing is we talked a little bit about the UK. UK's got some goals, you know? Like I say, we've got these 300 organizations that are doing things, it's Brownian motion right now. There's no, we're not focused on anything. At least the UK has got a focus. Let's set some goals up for the United States. Focus all this energy so we actually come out with something that's worthwhile. And there, these are some pretty good sized goals. Cut time by 50%. Cut reduce, they're, they're talking first costs, I'm talk, talking about total cost. Which is again, bringing back to this total cost of ownership uh, study that we're doing, or uh, standard we're doing with uh, ANSI through APA. Um, physical plant folks, universities are really interested because they create the facility, they live with it, and then they ultimately tear it down at some point in time. Um, the other thing is, I've kind of looked at it, and I mentioned about product selection, and you were talking about product selection. We're, we're selecting right now, all the tools that we have right now in the United States are looking at selecting objects, selecting geometry. There's not a lot of information attached to those yet. NBS is looking at, and the NBS is built, being built in the UK, it's looking at um, a lot of different information. Um, they've got Kobe information, which is another one that drives me absolutely crazy. We developed Kobe in the United States. The UK implemented it as their base for how they want to do business. Seriously? You know? Um, so anyway, there's all the, you know, Seek is, is kind of falling off the wayside because it's hard to maintain these things if there's not really any intelligence to them. Um, and so there's a lot of tools um, that are kind of emerging in the United States, but again, there's no information focus. So I will leave you to that, some thoughts. And, and again, it's like, okay, where do we want to go? You know, how far do we want to go to before we, if we can just get some of these things implemented, that's going to be long range for most of the people in this room. Yes, sir. You mentioned goals. Establishing goals. Yep. Like a na you, you mentioned goals, like establishing national goals and things like that. I seem to recall that we tried something like that before with the Baldridge Award. What I saw was a lot of activity initially and then it, it dropped off. And I think the reason why it dropped off is because of the nature of how business works. We're a capitalist society, so you, you initially oh yes, you can't do business without having you know, that uh, ISO, or you can't do that without having the Baldridge. Right. If that reward doesn't come through, people lose you know, faith in all that. So I think having a goal is good, but unless you have that positive uh, feedback, you're, yeah. you're, you're setting yourself up for you know, the, uh, the trench of disappointment. Well, and I do think, you know, even if we have success, we forget that success really quick. Um, and, and we have had some successes, um, but, and, and like you say, how do you reinforce that? How do you, how do you identify that as being something that people are, you know, are, are, are going to be recognized for some of those things? Um, you know, if, Maybe we didn't do it right. I'm not sure that that's not a reason to have goals because I think, you know, you've got to have people, again, how do you focus them also? Um, and, and, I, and I'm saying, you know, even with the UK, eh, they didn't make their, 20, their April 4th, 2016 goal necessarily. It changed a little bit. But, <laughs> but the point is they got their, and, and I, that's what I was talking to David about, they, they did raise their level of awareness. So I think they might even still make their 20, um, 2020 goal Okay, in their 2025 goal, you know. Yeah, yeah. Goals should be in the context of a larger system. Well, that's, and again, that's the thing. It, we've got to think at that, at that broader, much broader scale and, and just really turn the whole thing around. And I will pass. I guess I'm, no, oh, okay. Here. I'm still, okay, all right, Any other cool. Questions? Yeah, we've got one back here. Yes, sir. Yeah, I liked the comment that you had about the information versus the data being passed and that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use that chart. Um, <laughs> but that, 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 that when you have the information passed, it's from activity to the next activity. And Western Civ teaches us that we get profitability at the end of an activity. 
right. um, and so we, we optimize to the end of the activity, not the sequence of activity. So I, I, I really, and, and also looking in the right end of the telescope, I liked that a lot. Right. Well, you know, and the, and the other thing I think, we, you know, we've got to, we've got to think about how, um, how we get feedback into the system too. You know, architects are going out and, and coming up with new design, new lead, you know, or new uh, energy designs and stuff like that. But are we really checking to see whether or not it worked? I mean, lead four, version four is trying to do that now because they're looking at performance. So, you know, so one could say, okay, well now we're starting over at scratch again and we're back at zero instead of 0.6. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, so, but I think that's the, that we've got to have that feedback loop in all these things. And again, that's your, your, your statement too. It's feedback of, you know, are we actually making progress? And if we're not making progress, let's try something different. That was one of the things, I worked at Army Research also, and um, we, we had 400 different business processes that we had developed that a group of people were using, and, and, and op, it was infrastructure related stuff. Every day we had a root cause analysis meeting to say what didn't work in our business process, things that we need to change. How do we adjust that? Change management, it's all about change management. So that's another, another, I mean, there's hundreds of things we can pull into this, into this discussion, but. I, I'm looking for an opinion, uh, Dick. You were, it sounded like you were uh, pleading for more investment in sort of IT for this area. I don't know if it's IT, it's, not IT, it's no. information, you know, about information, yeah, yeah. I guess you and, could say and, that. And I'm wondering if, if, if uh, it was phrased not as buildings, but infrastructure. So uh, we added ports and bridges and electric grids and sewers yep. and the rest of that. So we've raised the complexity, but we've also raised the importance to the nation. It, w w does it, w where, where are you on that? I mean, I've seen those spaghetti diagrams in manufacturing, and they, you, you simply cannot connect them. I mean, there, there, there is a, there's a point at which there's just, it just, you have to start with a clean sheet almost. <laughs> yeah, what do you well, think? Did, uh, you raise the complexity level, call it infrastructure, but you get more funding, or you keep it at buildings and do the best you can. W where do you think we're, our best shot is? I'm, I'm kind of that, I, I still believe that we need, and it goes back to even what Jack was saying earlier, I think we do need to look at it at that bigger picture. Um, I think we've solved other problems that have been that complex, and, and yeah, DOD is still working at solving that problem with their architecture. I mean, they're working on it still. So there, um, you know, there's, there's, there's no reason not to continue looking at it. Like say this, this chart I put together with you know, 200 different organizations. Okay, well those are organizations are out there. We're not gonna reduce the number of organizations. Somehow we have to get them to work together. And somehow, you know, as, again, as a team. And, and we're too much in these, you know, making our, our silos into cylinders of excellence. <laughs> you know, that's, that's our, our focus right now. And, and, and we're missing the big picture. Deke? That's a good meme, thank you very much. <laughs>